Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing one man, one mod, trying to learn everything that we can about immersive engineering. We have some work to do today because some of you guys made comments uh, on the video. Let's go over and take care of this skeleton real quick. Oh, yeah, get yourself dead. That your windmill, I mean, mine's working out okay, but actually when I logged on just a few minutes ago, it actually wasn't working. It was it was kind of stalled. So what I think we should do, oh, don't blow up, okay, is get ourselves a little bit of alternate, like an alternate power source. Yeah, you're dead. Um, which I think we're going to use a lava generator. Uh, so let's take a look here really quick. So we have a, let's look at generators really quick generator so we have geothermal oh, oh I hear noises it's not great I'm trying to get some more stick read plants man it's making me crazy come on crazy game let's put this on here like this keep these guys going keep doing what you do okay take these out like that and okay let those do their deal again so generators so we have we have different di lots of different kinds of generators but we're going to make a geothermal generator is what we need um, and it, it produces 32 eu per tick if we use lava um, so we need to figure out how to get some lava but before i can make any of that stuff i need to see if i can't go find some sand somewhere i don't know where there might be sand we have had a little bit around this little pond that we had uh, let's see what does the map say sand <laughs> maybe over by the swamp yeah let's head over that way we'll head down that way and see if we can't find a little bit of sand we don't need too much we need I don't know half a stack would probably be plenty to just make some glass now we can uh, you know what we could do let's do this instead how about we do this because if you're actually playing along with me in the same area let me grab that stuff yeah yeah if you're playing along with me in the same area you're gonna have this sand issue as well so we, we can make sand by macerating cobblestone, I believe. I think that's the way it works. So let's get a stack, and we'll stick it right in here, like so. Let's see, does this stuff make sand? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah, so we can just macerate a stack of cobblestone. We Man, we, we definitely get plenty, that's for sure. So we just need to get some uh, glass processed up because we want to make this geothermal generator. Um, so we need some iron casings. We need a regular generator, which we already know how to make. So that's not too big of a deal. We need four pieces of glass. Now, the problem, I guess the other, not really a problem, but the other issue is we're going to need some lava, and we're going to need a pretty substantial store of lava. Now, the unfortunate thing is that Industrial Craft, this, it has this kind of tank, but this isn't the kind of tank that you put stuff in. This is the kind of tank that, like, you hook up to a machine and then export exports gases and stuff like that from the machines. But uh, Teddy here, who made this pack for me, added a very simple mod called Liquid Tank. And, or it's called I tank is the name of the mod but liquid tank it's pretty simple to build and we're gonna build a couple of these now these are really cool because you can build multiple of these guys and stack them so let's grab a little bit of iron I think seven pieces and let's go ahead and make one of these guys real quick and we can at least take a look at it and see what the deal is so we need a bucket and then we should be able to make this guy there we go so there's a liquid tank we can put it down on the ground all right and it just holds fluids, right? Nothing too crazy. But you could the cool thing about these, let's see if we have enough glass to make another one. Not quite yet. You can actually stack these on top of each other, and they will share um, fluid. So we're going to take one of these, take it with us. Now, the thing I don't know about these, and I'm pretty sure it works that way, but I'm not 100% sure if you break, break them that you actually get contents back. So let's get... 7, 10, let's get uh, a bunch, let's make two more, let's make three buckets, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like so, and then we'll make another one of these tanks, 
right? Now we have two of them. They don't stack together in your inventory, but if we put this one down and this one on top of see how it becomes like a big tank? <laughs> yeah, I'm down with that for sure. And then you can break these guys and get them back if you want to. Okay. They don't stack, though, which is, uh, I guess, a little bit unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. And I'd like to get one more of these. Let's, just, let's go out here and see what's going on with our plants. Anything good happening? Oh, that's a dang weed. Get out of here, weed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's good there. Okay. Alright, so let's go get this glass. One more piece. Is it cooking up? Yeah, it's almost done. There we go. And then we'll go and make another tank. Alright, so now we have three of these guys. And we have an extra bucket. So that means it's time to unload a couple of our resources. We'll just throw some stuff in here. we got to get chests and things like that squared away. We're going to do that in the very near future. Do not worry. Okay, and let's grab from here... Do I have some another rack? Yeah, I think I'm going to get cobble, though. Let's get a couple stacks of cobble. And let's head off. Let's eat something. I guess we should harvest our carrot farm over there real quick, too. And then we're going to head into the nether, and we're going to see if we can get down from our nether portal. Remember, the last time we were in the nether, we're super high. Is it not nighttime? Oh, no, it's like middle of the day. It feels kind of dark. <laughs> How's my deal going? Man, it's turning right along, churning and burning. Let's grab all these carrots, and we'll just have a little bit of a food source. Still no potatoes, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I don't mind eating these until we can get something better. All right, let's head into the nether and see if we can't get down to a lava lake. We've got our diamond drill, and we have our our charging battery, so we can get... How are we going to get down here? Oh my goodness, this is, this is kind of a rough setup here. Let's crouch out all over the end. Oh my goodness gracious, we are crazy high. Alright, um, how are we going to do this? Do I have a waypoint? No. So we need to do make a waypoint here in the nether, and we'll call it the portal. This is good enough, right? Done. Okay, yeah. Whoops. There. Now we have a portal. Let's see. So we need to start going down, I guess. A little sketchy. Um, switch this out and put that right there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. Oh my goodness, we are so far. Oh, how are we going to get down here? Maybe we have gravel. Maybe we can go back into our base real quick. Let's go back through. I mean, there's not like a place over here, right, that we can go down? I mean, we're like going... I mean, we're like crazy high. Yeah. Okay. We'll grab up some of this nether rack, though, for sure. All right. Let's go back through the portal. And we'll go back to our base and we'll grab some gravel. And then we can... Maybe we can make like a pillar and go down. I mean, I really can't think of any other easy way. We, obviously, we can't use a water bucket, so we're going to have to use some other way to get down. Let's see. Um, there's a little bit of gravel. Please let me have some more. Uh, gravel, gravel, gravel. Okay. And do I have a torch? No. All right, let's see if we can't find a torch somewhere. Here's some sticks. Uh, here's some charcoal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we'll go like this. We'll go like this. Okay. I have lots of cobbles, so I want to bring some more with me. Let's bring like a couple stacks. We may have to do some like weird, weird way to get up and down. Not ideal, right? But whatever. We we take what we get and we take care of business. <laughs> we'll look at all my trees up there. That's tons of tons of wood. We're going to need some of that here in the near future as well. Meanwhile, I'll just let that grab. I mean, obviously, we're going to unload those chunks. Alright, so let me see. I need to make sure we're at least going to go down yeah, like here, maybe? Whew. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. So here's my plan. We'll see if this actually works. I don't know. I mean, it, I, mean it's, I know it's going to work, but it's going to take a few minutes. So let's build ourselves a little thing like this. 
right? And then we will go right here like this, and we'll switch to gravel, and we'll start doing this. Let me just hold our right click button. Let's see, is it like stacking up down there? Yeah, okay, good. All right, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, it's getting close. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking, I was trying to think, should I get ladders? But man, ladders are so sketchy with gas and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really know exactly how we're going to make a way. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, should we make, get enough wood to make a bunch of ladders? I mean, that was about a stack of gravel to get there. Because we're certainly going to be able to want to get up and down. Maybe we should do that quick. Let's see how much wood I actually have. If I don't have very much, I might have to go off camera and farm up. I mean, we have lots of trees. We might just not have any wood. Okay. Let's go over here real quick. I have to fight this zombie. Uh, you are just stuff. Okay. Let's see. Wood. There's a little bit of spruce. Uh, that's not... <laughs> we don't have very much wood, do we? Do I even have an axe? I sort of want to make the chainsaw. Should I make the chainsaw? Uh, maybe. Let's see what we need to do to make the chainsaw. I mean, we have this battery, right? So we should be able to make the chainsaw. All right, so we just need uh, a bunch of iron plates and one of these power units. So that's an RE battery. That's a bunch of tin. Right, so what's that? One, two, three, four. So that's 12 tin. And so 12, 13, 14 tin case. That's seven ingots. Okay, we should have seven ingots. Let's see if we have those. Okay, so seven ingots, and we're going to put these in our metal former in plate mode. Yeah, okay. And what else do we need for the chainsaw? We need some insulated cable, so we're going to need three of those. How many? How much of this insulated cable do we actually... Ah, oh, we have that many. Sweet. We definitely have enough redstone. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then it's just those and those. Okay. It's not a problem. Right, that should be fine. And then some copper cable. Okay. Do we have any copper cable? How about in here? Nope. We have the that stuff. Okay. So let's get ourselves a copper ingot. How's this doing? Working its way through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean I want to we have to we gotta try out the chainsaw. Man, of course we do. <laughs> Man, let's see. Uh, can we sleep through the night real quick? Okay. There's a zombie out here. If he's still out here, I'm going to go try to kill him and maybe he'll drop a potato. And now, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that just make our day? Let's go see. Hello? Zombie? Yes? Hi? How are you? You chopped. You've been chopped once and you've been chopped once. Oh, I hear this guy. Okay. Oh, not fast enough. Okay. Uh, no potato. Dang it. Well, it's okay. All right, so that should be done. We can run those back through and make those into casings. Yeah. Okay. I wish I had a... I don't even own an axe, I guess. Is there not an axe in there? It's not in my inventory. Is it in my toolbox? Maybe it's in my toolbox. Nope. I was checking my wind speed. It's kind of variable. You see they're on my map, right? Or on my chat bar. I was checking my wind speed. I mean, it's still churning along. There's another weed. Dang it. Do I have my things? I'll just let that grow. Okay. All right. And then we're going to need... Okay, let's take a look at our chainsaw recipe. So we need, uh, what, one, two, six, six iron plates. We're going to need one of those. So, yeah, that should be okay. We're going to need two copper bar bars then. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is coming out, almost done. Then we'll switch this to extruding mode, and we'll make some copper wire. And then, I guess, we'll, do we have any any plates whatsoever? No. All right, so let's grab... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. 
How's this guy? Done. Okay. So we'll put this guy to extruding mode and we'll run this copper wire through there. Let me find my crop sticks. We'll take these out here and we'll fix this weed situation we've got. I'm pretty sure that's a weed. Let's put these guys back down. Okay. This should be done. And then we can run this iron through there. Okay. So let's get ourselves a couple pieces of rubber. Uh, where did I just put rubber? Right here. So we need these. Uh, let's put some of this stuff back. Temporarily. We have to make sure we remember to, remember to bring it with us. Okay. Let's grab some rubber. Just two pieces is all we need. We'll convert that like so. We'll be able to get... Oh, no, no, no. Dang. That's a waste. I don't think we can use that for any... HV cable? Nah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can use that. We just want plates, though. Okay, so we need one. All right, so let's make uh, the power deal. So these guys we should be able to make. Three of those. Okay, done. And then we should be able to make... Copper coils. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, we can at least make this, right? Yep, we can make that. Let's get more copper. Hmm, I don't really know how much we're going to need. Do I have some copper over here by chance? Ah, yes. Okay. All right. So let's just let's just grind up all of this stuff. How are you guys doing? Okay, it's going to be a few minutes. I'll tell you what. Let me jump off camera. Let me let these roll roll through, right, to get the plates. I mean, technically, we only need six. How many is in there? So we just need two more. Ah, maybe we can just do it on camera. I'm hoping that I can get... So let's take a look at this thermoelectric. No, not that. We want this, geothermal. So we're going to need some universal fluid cells. That's 10 item casings. We need some iron casings. We need a generator, which is, uh, what, eight plates? Yeah, oh my goodness, this is pretty expensive. But it's going to be worth it, for sure. Okay, and then if I'm making the chainsaw, don't I need, like, an iron plate for it? Iron item casing, okay. So let's get... Okay, so this actually is good. Let's take this out and put one two back in there like that run them through again okay so chainsaw oh and then we need to run our copper wire through there as well put it back on extrude mode and let it do its deal hope you guys are good and having a good saturday sorry about no video earlier today i was actually today's my daughter's birthday so we did some birthday stuff today, so I didn't have time to get you a, a regular video out, another modded video out, but man, we'll get this one done. Definitely be able to check this out, and while you're watching it, I'll be on a boat somewhere. <laughs> My daughter wanted to rent a pontoon boat, so that's what we're doing for her birthday. So we need 16, 17, 18 pieces of wire. So there's 13. One more pass through should be give us enough to make our coils. Then we should be able to make our motor. We have some tin item casings. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab these. And then we have a little bit of iron. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's make the motor, which is two of these guys. One, two. And then we should be able to make this. There's our motor. And then we should be able to make... Oh, we need two more wires. Let's grab those. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then we can make this now. Yep, there's our power unit. And then we can make chainsaw. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> All right, it's filling up. Let's go take a look at it and see how it works. I don't know. Ooh, it looks, it looks cool. All right, how does this work? Okay, it's just like an ax. Also, maybe it was make like cool chainsaw noises. <laughs> we could make our own. <laughs> when I was a kid, my dad uh, was a big. Uh, he loved to cut wood. I don't know. It was really strange, but that's what his like one of his favorite things to do in the whole wide world. And when I was little, I had to help, and help by help it really meant I just stood out in the woods and watched. I think he just wanted someone to keep him company. I guess I could always carry the smaller pieces, right? Smaller pieces of wood I could carry. 
but he just wanted somebody out there in the woods with him. And I think it was it made my mother feel better as well because my dad was out there with a chainsaw trying to cut these big trees down and trimming all this stuff up. So I think it made her feel better if I was out there at least sort of keeping an eye out. So if he got hurt, I could come running into the house and be like, Mom! <laughs> all right, let's chop these guys all down. Yeah, it's nice, right? I mean, it's not like super crazy fast, but the best thing about these tools that you can make with immersive engineering, or immersive engineering, industrial craft, is they, even though they not might not be like ridiculously crazy fast, and these are this is actually pretty good, um, but the fact is you never have to repair them or make more. You just need to get more power. And we have this battery that's going to keep these guys full. You can see it's got it completely filled up, ready to go. Did I get four saplings? I got six. So let's go one, two, three, four. We'll replace that. And that should be enough wood to make a stack of ladders. I would think so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, please make stick reed. That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's go make a bunch of ladders. So we'll make a bunch of sticks like so. Uh, how many ladders will that make? 27? Okay, so there's going to be another 27. We just need to make uh, a couple more. One, two, three. Yeah, good enough. That should be plenty. And we'll have some extra sticks left over. Uh, we have tons of sticks. We can make those into crop sticks later on. All right, we can put all this stuff. Don't no, keep those. Yeah. All right, and get rid of this, this. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. And let's grab some more cobble. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How about that? We'll get a bunch. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll make like an enclosed, kind of like a tower. Right? So let's get that going and that going. Okay. We got a couple inventory spaces. Here. Throw that on the ground. It'll be here when we get back. It shouldn't despawn. We're outside of the spawn chunks, of course. Okay. So here's our pillar down. Not the easiest way to get that up and down, but certainly, but I brought my bucket right, yeah, okay. Oh, that must have been from the last time I was in here. Great, okay. Can't pick that up. All right, so this was, we want to actually build our ladder right here, right? So that's where we want our ladder to go. And it's going to have to be, yep, so it's going to start here like this. And we're going to go like that. Okay. Super sketchy. Okay. Ow. Should have landed on the actual ladder. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's okay. So we're just going to build ourselves a way up so we can get up and down. So we don't have to do that right now. Um, I can do that here in just a minute. But I want to take one of my tanks. And I can probably do that off camera, actually. So let's go over here. Let's see if we can't find our way down to the lava lake. There's one. Yeah, we can just go right across the way here. Yeah? I hear you, bad guys. Okay. So let's just go right over here. Put this down. All right, and now I should be able to just go like that, right? I want to know, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now the question is, can I break it and will it maintain its contents? I don't know. If not, that... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now we just need to repeat that process, like over here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here. Six, seven, eight. Okay. And then, uh, okay, let's just stand right here. <laughs> Please don't go into the lava. Okay, good. And then we can stack all these guys together. We could have done that as well, right? Stack them all together. Damn, why is my inventory bad? Okay. We'll come back down here. That's okay. I want to get some of these other little odds and ends. Maybe we can use some of that stuff right there. Who knows? Can figure it out. All right, so let's go over here. Let's climb, let's eat something. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to just get myself back up here to the top of this thing. Yeah. Um, and I think what we'll do is we're going to come back down and we're going to enclose this just to make sure we don't have any trouble. Like we can go like that maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter what side. We can enclose this whole thing. Right? And make like a... So it's safe. So we can climb up and down even if there's gas running. Oh, like right there. We heard that coming. Don't hit me. Yep. So that's why. Hey-ya! Oh, come on. Hit this guy. Oh, pig man! Get out of the way! Oh, oh! I didn't hit that guy. Ow. What a nightmare. Come on, we'll get you. It's really hard. Oh, I was so close. Okay, the other thing we could do, maybe, <laughs> is just run over here. And maybe he will despawn. That would be the ideal situation if we could actually get him to despawn. I sort of want to go see if there's a fortress over here or not. I don't see much. Okay, he's over, oh, and then there's another ghast up there too. That's not ideal for sure. I don't see a fortress. Oh, I see an enderman though. Don't be bothering people, enderman. Okay, so what are we going to do here? How are we going to get away from this mess? We have to go back down anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let me get back in the overworld. Okay. I, mean, I, have some, I have my ladders. Let's get inside our little hidey hole here. This is burning on fire. <laughs> Okay. All right, get my ladders. All right, we're getting long in this episode. We still want to make this generator if we possibly can. But you know what? I think maybe it's kind of fun to see if we can't figure out how to get out of the nether. Oh my goodness. There's a gas right there. Okay, let me deal with this mess. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. So I got my three tanks of lava. I made it back from my, I guess, 64 block down. I made myself like a, a little tube that I could crawl up and down to make sure. Um, I did get the return to sender achievement. Had to fight off gas, man. The, like the entire area down there is burning. You'll see that here in a little bit. Okay, so we got to make some stuff. So we got to make ourselves this guy right here. So let's grab ourselves six. 
uh, pieces of glass real quick. All right, we'll make some panes like so. Okay, connect gen no, uh, to this guy. So we're gonna need to make some universal fluid cells. So we just need two of those. Let's not make more than we need because we're gonna need some other stuff here. And we're gonna need to make a generator, iron ion casing. Okay, we should have everything else. Let's put these in here. Let's grab what I do with those uh, those guys. Oh, I have them. Okay. Let's get one, two, three, four. Okay. And then I should be making some more of iron plates. Okay. Here. I don't know why I have that. I guess I chopped that off when I was doing stuff. Okay. So let's see if we can't make this geothermal generator now. So we need to make a regular generator so we can make one of these. Okay, there's that. And then we need to make an RE battery. I need some redstone. Here, put that in there temporarily. Okay. Geothermal. This, this, this. There's that. And then we can make the generator, right, which is sort of step one, like that. Okay. And then we should now be able to make the geothermal. Yep, bang. Okay, awesome. So there's that. All right, we have our tanks full of lava. So let's put this guy down right here, like so. And we're gonna stack up these tanks of lava like this and this. See how they all combine together to make uh, like an awesome, oh, is it uh, filling? No. Yeah, it's not producing any power at the moment. But what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves a piece of this copper cable, insulated copper cable, and we're going to hook it up into our network, right? So it'll still fill it, keep the CESU filled. If it doesn't need to provide power, it won't, and we should be good to go. Now, the only problem that we're having, though, is we have to get fluid in here, okay? So how do I get fluid into this thing? Um... I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I mean, one way to do it, obviously, would be to take a bucket like that and put it in there like that, okay? All right, it'll make tons of power, but I wanna get it in there automatically, so how am I gonna do that? So I was thinking maybe, let's see if this works. I don't know if that th this thing will even go in there, uh, crafting bench. So there are these things called fluid uh, pulling upgrade, like this, right? Oh, do I have the stuff to make that electric motor? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? Fluid pulling upgrade. I see an iron ingot. Yeah, I think I have all the pieces, parts I need to make that. So let's make one of these pulling upgrades and see if maybe it'll go in the thing. All right, so there's an electric motor. I should have all the other pieces, parts. Let's see. Can I put this in here? No. Okay, not ideal. All right, so what are, what, are, what, are, what other options do we have? We do have a fluid router, fluid dis distributor, distributor. Oh, we need a bunch of jet, I mean, those are expensive to make. Okay, so the other thing, universal fluid cells, is there any way to make these faster? That's just how to empty them. Huh. Okay. Well, we got to figure out how to get power out of this thing. I mean, for the time being, we can do something like that, right? And we can grab this, and we can do it in there manually. So what we'll do is we'll come back in tomorrow's episode. We'll see if we can't automate the production or the movement of lava between these two devices. Meanwhile, we have an extra... I guess it's 20 EU per tick coming out of this thing. Um, and essentially it's free, right? We can take our tanks once they empty. We can take one or two tanks down there, get them all filled up, just pop them in here, and away they go. And you'll see that they sort of like stack each other, right? So as they kind of go down. So it doesn't matter where you put the lava. We'll fill this guy up real quick. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So... We need to figure out how to get fluid from this into that. I have an idea on how we can do it. We'll take a look at that next time. But until then, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my one man, one mod, Industrial Craft, Let's Play Survival Spotlight, where we got ourselves an alternate power source, 20 EU per tick, just by running the lava and scooping up a bunch of lava in our new fancy eye tanks. Man, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.